It is wonderful to see the growing diversity in text-to-speech research and development, especially with this model like Y new TTS, which highlights the importance of linguistic inclusivity in AI. As English-centric models have dominated much of the field, the emergence of strong regional language systems demonstrate both technical innovation and cultural value. In this video, we are going to install this first ever Vietnamese TTS model locally and I will be also testing it out. The, I know that most of my viewers are not Vietnamese, but still, I believe the purpose is manifold. First, you would see how the diverse TTS model work. Plus, I will also be mentioning its architecture, some of the training data and stuff so that if you are looking to fine tune or train or create your own diverse language model as per your own region, maybe this will help you out. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. First up, let's talk a bit more around this model. The good thing is that they not only have released the model uh, with a very, very liberal Apache 2 license, but also they have released the data set, which you can also reuse quite easily. They also have a GitHub repo with all the details. This model, the Y new TTS, stands out as the first Vietnamese TTS model capable of running efficiently on personal devices while supporting instant voice cloning. This is built upon new TTS Air, which we already have covered on the channel. And then it has also been fine tuned from the Quen.5 billion LLM. So it strikes an impressive balance between speed, model size and high quality natural voice output. The model's ability to operate in real time on CPUs make it ideal for local privacy focused applications such as voice assistants, educational toys, and interactive agents, in my humble opinion. The training is very, very simple. It just uses new codec audio codec and trained on nearly 75,000 Vietnamese audio samples. And that makes it quite interesting. And the quality has gone up. And it also delivers remarkably natural and expressive Vietnamese speech, which is a big leap. I have covered a lot of diverse models on the channel. And most of the time, you know, they work okay, but you know, the quality is not there. But I think as far as I can tell from the benchmarks, the quality seems quite good. But you know what, let's get it installed. And we will see um, how the cookie is crumbling. This is my Ubuntu system. This is my GPU card, but I'm going to use CPU for this one. So let me clear the screen. Plus, if you're looking to rent a VM, CPU or GPU on very affordable price, you can find the link to Mass Compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. Let's first git clone the repo. Once the repo is cloned, next step is to simply um, install all the requirements from the root of the repo. While it installs that, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application that empowers you to build, manage and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. Everything is installed. Now let me launch my radio demo. And the first time when you run this, this downloads the model. So let's wait. It's a very small, simple model. And the model size is just over one gig. And this is a Quen one. Okay, so the model is now running on our local system. Let me access it in the browser at localhost port 7860. And there you go. So this is a Vietnamese text-to-speech model. And all the links are there. Now you have no idea what this means, but anyway, we will try it out. I will play it. If you are a Vietnamese speaker or if you understand that, you would have to guide me. What do you think about the quality of the response? So let's run this. Let's wait for it to finish. Okay, so it has generated the speech. Let me play this. Legacy là một bộ phim đột phá về mặt âm nhạc, quay phim hiệu ứng đặc biệt và tôi rất mừng vì cuối cùng nó cũng được cả giới phê bình luận người hâm mộ đánh giá lại. Chúng ta đã quá bất công với bộ phim này vào năm 2010. 
Okay, I have no idea, but please let me know. I mean, but by just listening to it and visually checking, I think it's fine. It's not bad at all. Let me quickly show you my CPU consumption uh, or CPU configuration. So this is my CPU, which is quite beefy, but still it is taking a bit of a time in order to generate it. Now, if you look at the screen and if you look at the choices, this John going, I think it means select the voice or something. This first one, which we just played, it is Southern Vietnamese male voice. And this one is Southern Vietnamese female voice. So I will also run it in this. And the strength high, I think it means status or something, I believe. Anyway, so I will just leave it and I will let it run. And if you're interested in also checking its base model, which is Neo TTS here, we covered it over three weeks ago. It is one of the really good TTS model. Uh, which you can run on CPU really was impressive and it was I guess the first version so check it out too and if you want to learn more about this uh, particular Vietnamese model you can also go to their github repo which is in front of you there is a lot of stuff but most of it is in Vietnamese but you can check it out they have put in a lot of information so I will drop the link to it in videos description too so please do check them out and that is done. Let me play this now, the female voice. Legacy là một bộ phim đột phá về mặt âm nhạc, quay phim, hiệu ứng đặc biệt. Và tôi rất mừng vì cuối cùng nó cũng được cả giới phê bình lẫn người hâm mộ đánh giá lại. Chúng ta đã quá mất công với bộ phim này vào năm 2010. Okay. Okay, let me try one more. I'm just going to give it this one again. I have just used from the google translate while it generates i was also wondering why southern vietnam why not central or northern because southern is as i know is ho chi minh city whereas northern is hanoi and central is da nang and that sort of thing i think the reason they have selected this is southern is because maybe due to the data availability because most of um, the southern sorry the most of dialects in vietnam have maybe the roots from the south so that is uh, you know maybe that is the reason but if you are from vietnam and you a better reason let me know but as far as i know in the southern dialect and accent there are there, is, there are relaxed tones shortened uh, vowels and softer delivery but the standard one i think that is northern because that is what they mostly use in education and media so anyway interesting choice of uh, southern voices let's wait for it to finish and then we'll go from there but you know what i may be totally off there i will let any vietnamese to confirm so that is done let me play it dù công nghệ tổng hợp giọng nói ngày càng tiên tiến dịch tái tạo ngữ điệu tự nhiên của tiếng việt với sáu thành điệu và vô số biến thể vùng miền vẫn là một thách thức lớn cái trí tuệ nhân tạo học cách cảm được cảm xúc trong từng câu nói Danh giới giữa con người và máy móc trở nên mờ nhạt hơn bao giờ hết. Giọng nói nhìn tạo có thể khiến chúng ta không còn phân biệt được đâu. Giọt nâu. Ok, so I have no idea what she said. Whatever she said, I say yes. The accent is so beautiful. I mean, the, the language was being delivered. So that's it. Let me know what do you think. Please like the video and subscribe. And consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.